What's up, y'all? I got a family feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, y'all know I don't normally do politics, okay? Because I don't necessarily be knowing what the hell I'm talking about, to be honest with you. I don't really pay it any attention. Uh, however, comma, uh, Biden has dropped out of the presidential race. Yes, he did. Look at his face. He's serious, too. Now, I'm going to let y'all know right now. I don't necessarily care for Biden, and I don't necessarily care for Trump either. As far as I'm concerned, I feel like we are screwed regardless, okay? When I go to the grocery store, Publix specifically, I have, I'm boycotting them. But when I go to the grocery store and I decide to give me some cheese, a little bit of milk, a pack of chicken, a cup of noodles, uh, maybe a snack or seven, and some soda water. When my total come up to $115 and I have eight items in my car, it brings some type of uh, anger to my to my body. I, I, I get pissed. You get what I'm saying? And, and right now, we are up under that with Biden. So you can't, like, convince me to be like, go Biden. Him too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As far as I'm concerned, all of them can go. So I'm not over here like, go Trump. And I'm damn sure not over here like, go Biden. I'm over here like, we're f And I'm just <laughs> putting that out there. Um, so yeah, he's out of the race. Um, uh, my fellow Americans over the past three and a half years, we have made great progress as a nation, which I absolutely disagree with. Okay. Um, today America has the strongest economy in the world. Now that's simply a lie. Uh, we've made historic investments rebuilding our nation and lowering prescription drug costs for seniors, okay, and then expanding affordable health care to a record number of Americans. I want y'all to know that the medicine is killing us too, okay? So I know y'all like, go Biden, but the medicine is not helping. It's actually killing us. Okay, I just want to put that out there as well. Uh, we've provided critically needed care to a million veterans exposed to toxic substances. Now, we can appreciate that. Passed the first gun safety law in 30 years, please. Somebody's 17 right now, and I'm exaggerating, but y'all know what I mean. You could just go in a gun store right now and be like, yeah, what's going on? Let me get an AR-15. How much? $1,500. Niggas got $1,500 a day, especially if they, you know, on the internet. So <laughs> let me let, slide me the AR-15 right now. Well, I don't need no paperwork. You don't even need my ID. Got it. Okay, bet. So, yeah. Uh, whew, appointed the first African-American woman to the Supreme Court. Now, that right there, they did do. Okay? All right. Um... And pass the most significant climate, le climate legislation in the history of the world. America has never been better positioned to lead than we are today. You know, for those that keep saying that um, climate isn't made up or somebody's not back there controlling the button, I want to ask y'all why they keep talking about the climate change then. Who controlling the climate change? I was talking to my daddy about that. And he was like, you really think somebody back here controlling the... Yeah, nigga, what you mean? Why, why we keep talking about climate control and we ain't talking about controlling the climate with a button? It's a button. I'm telling you right now. Um, I know none of this could have been done without you, the American people. Together we overcame a once-in-a-century pandemic and the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. So I've heard the Great Depression was worse than what we went through or what we're going through. So we don't want to experience that. Okay. We protected and preserved our democracy, and we've revitalized and strengthened our alliances around the world. It has been the greatest honor of my life to serve as your president. And while it has been my intention to seek re-election, 
I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. I will speak to the nation later this week in more detail about my decision. Okay. For now, I let, for now, let me express my deepest gratitude to all those who have worked so hard to see me reelected. I want to thank Vice President Kamala Harris for being an extraordinary partner in all this work. And let me express my heartfelt appreciation to the American people for the faith and trust you have been placed in me. Okay. I believe today what I always have that there is nothing America can't do. When we do it together, we just have to remember we are the United States of America. Signed, Joe Biden. Damn. God damn. All right. Uh, you know, I, I didn't expect this. Uh, I don't blame Biden for dropping out. Because Trump, right now, he playing a real dangerous game. Trump got shot and was like, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Trump just got shot and was like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so Biden is not, he don't, he is not in it to win it right now, okay? He don't feel like getting shot. He don't want to get stabbed up. He is noticing that the, um, the Secret Service is not necessarily on their side like that, for real. Um, maybe they're not getting paid enough. Maybe they're not getting enough time to spend the money that they're getting paid. But what I'm saying is, I don't blame them. Y'all, I already know about Project 2025. And to be honest, I have some discrepancies whether um, Trump clearly is behind it or not. But to be honest... Um, whether he is or not, as y'all can see, this ball going to roll how I want to. This ball is going to roll how I want to. I want women to protect themselves at all times. It's like with the laws of anything going against women, I feel like it's still a sense of control that you still do have, right? Hey, protect yourselves with sex. However, God forbid, because this is what the men don't talk about. God forbid somebody trying our words, you Lord knows they have the gun laws today to where you, yeah, let me get a Glock 19. How much? $675. Throw that money on the counter and make sure you always got it. It's kind of like, I know y'all don't want to hear that, but it's a catch 22 to this whole situation. We can't do shit about it. We don't even know who about to run up next. Where is Bernie? They never, he never gets elected. And I don't even think he's even trying to run right now. So now we have to decide or we have to actually convince men to not only vote for a woman, To not only vote for a woman, but to vote for a black woman. <laughs> we are f Okay, so <laughs> I just want y'all to know, you, you might want to get your Glock 19s in order, all right? Get to ordering you some plan B's. <laughs> I'm just saying. I know it's not funny, but come on now. What can we do? Like, we don't control this place. We just out here living in it. So, but I will tell y'all this. They need black people to keep America going. So don't think this about to be some, uh, you know, just black people. Y'all, that's not how this work. They need us real bad. Okay. If without us, it wouldn't be no goddamn music. Okay. Without us, it wouldn't be a lot of things, but we ain't going to go there because they've deleted history and y'all going to look at me like I'm crazy. But listen, 
They need us. So I don't think y'all should fear so much in that area. Women, protect yourselves. Period. And, um, girl, that's all I got. Biden said, okay, so that's where we at. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, let me, add this. let me add this to my video. Trump responded to, um, hold on right quick. Let me delete this because it's wrong anyway. Trump responded to Biden. He says, crooked Joe Biden was not fit to run for president and is certainly not fit to serve and never was. He only attained the position of president by lies, fake news, and not leaving his basement. Okay. All those around him, including his doctor and the media, knew that he, was, he wasn't capable of being president. And he wasn't. And now, look what he's done to our country. With millions of people coming. People. Y'all know how he said. Millions of people coming across our border totally unchecked and unvetted. Many from prisons, mental institutions, and record numbers of terrorists. We will suffer greatly because of his presidency, but we will remedy the damage he has done very quickly. Make America, make America great again. Y'all, if Biden ain't, I mean, if Trump ain't focused on nothing, he's focused on that border. I think he's more focused on that border than anything, but I'm not stupid. I know he, you know. He has his focuses, okay? But that border is his problem. That's all he talk about. Border and money. And quite frankly, we're f***ed either way. <laughs> like, bruh, money right now and y'all, this shit is bad. That's all I got to say. We, I'm just, we just living in it. We're just living the American dream.